Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Holy shit. Stop. Immediately. Oh my god, they're all staring at me. Oh my god, they're all staring at me. Okay. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Vam Fam Champ, and today we are playing Never Ending Nightmare. In this game, we're gonna be playing as someone who's lost both of his parents. And in order to try to rekindle some of the good memories that he had with them, he's going to start dreaming. However, there's something sinister that begins to unfold in these dreams. So sit back and let's get this one started. All right, we're waking up. God damn, that noise is annoying. Turn that, turn that damn thing off. All right, it said, he said it's a new day and it's time to get something to eat. Okay, so this is our apartment, tiny, it's quaint. It's actually an interesting shape. It's just a, a giant rectangle, but hey, we can't all have mansions. You know what I mean? He said he was hungry. Let's eat some food. Good Lord. Is that really all I have? Well, better than nothing. Yeah, that doesn't look so good, dude. Ugh. Lasagna for breakfast. <laughs> uh, that was good. I feel ready for work now. Okay. You say so, dude. You're going to have the bubble guts in about an hour here. All right, so he said he's ready for work. We're gonna go out this way. And uh, what the heck is this? You live in the woods, dude? This place is in the woods? Uh, this is not where I live. Okay, okay, so I'm not going crazy here. This definitely looks a little out of place, but we are dreaming after all. I mean, anything could happen. Okay, we're coming up on this uh, window. Whoa! Stupid crow. A crow? Uh, honestly, crows, they don't they do not do nothing to me. That's me and my parents. What the heck? There's people inside. <laughs> this dude looks like Agent Mulder from X-Files. So your dad is Agent Mulder. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty dope, dog. Okay, so dad said, is everything okay? You seem completely out of it for the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm dreaming, dog. Oh, it was nothing. Only got lost in my thoughts for a second. Are you sure? You know you can tell us anything, right? Yes, Dad, I know. It was really nothing. Good God Almighty, what is wrong with your face? Mom, I, I, uh, why do you look like that? Why do you look like that? That was a jump scare, if I've ever seen one. Okay, Mark, do you want more food? There is still some remains left. What do you mean by remains? No thanks, I'm full. Mark, you wanted to visit a cave, right? Um, what the hell, Mark? <laughs> Why do we want to visit a cave? No, we don't want to visit a cave. Yes, why, he says. Great, I found one nearby and I will take you there next weekend. Wow, I can't wait to go there. Thanks, Dad. You are welcome. This is this is not how I have conversations with my parents. <laughs> you are welcome, son. Um, Where did my parents go? I need to find them quickly. Dude, where? Oh, okay, we, we just got up from the table, I think, right? Yeah, here we go. This was my favorite, my parents' favorite liquors. Now it isn't, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so wow, they really liked this liquor. This was definitely what my dad would drink, but it's just way too much. Are we sure about that, dude? Are we sure? Um, I should check upstairs first. Okay, he wants to check upstairs. What? Look at this. We found a key already, you guys. We don't even know what's going on yet. We already found a key. That's how good we are at these games. I'm just searching around this little cabin. He's saying he wants to go upstairs. What is that? This was my dad's favorite mask. He used to collect them. What is wrong with your dad? Dude, there, there is something wrong with your dad. And, um, and I have a feeling he's the one controlling these nightmares, if you ask me. Look at that. That is not normal. All right, we're climbing up here. All right, and there's a door here. And this is where we use the key, right? Yep, there it is. It is very dark in here. I don't see anyone, thankfully. I don't want to see anyone, but I don't see anyone now. It kind of looks like someone's sleeping under that blanket, doesn't it? Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, uh, it was just outside the window, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Holy crap. That was a good scare. That was a good scare. I, uh... He's moving around in here, isn't he? He's moving around in here. Okay. Okay. And uh, there's his head or mask. I don't. I honestly don't know what it is. 
This is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, you, you said that, buddy. You said that already. Okay, we're gonna climb down the ladder. Maybe they went to the shed. What shed? Out, out front? Where we were originally, maybe? This way? Oh, yep, it wants us to go out this way. So, I'm a little curious. Was this... Someone's moving in the bushes. Was this what your parents' yard looked like? This is very strange. Oh my god. Holy shit. Stop. Immediately. This this is going to be bad. Dude, I hate to break this to you, but I think your dad was in a cult. And now I'm paying the price for it. I'm, I'm the one paying the price. They're going to scare the hell out of me every chance they can get. Why? I don't know. They want me to wear that mask. Okay, we're here. We're going to read this newspaper article. Tragic murder of a dad and mother with the use of a firearm. The cops were called to the crime scene two hours after the shooting took place. On arrival, they found a dead woman and a man who was then later identified as a mother and dad of a son who was luckily still alive. He was found hiding under the bed in complete shock. They tried talking to him, but he wouldn't answer any questions. After searching the property for any evidence towards who could have done this, the police found absolutely nothing and there's our family, so basically we're like real life Batman. One strange thing the police noticed was that the dad had been murdered with a mask on his face. <laughs> no, he did not. Oh my God, you can see a photo of the mask below. Many eyes have been on the sun after all this came out, but with no evidence to back it up, he has not yet been charged with anything. The Sun recently came out with a statement regarding this situation. To everyone who suspects me of doing something this horrible towards my own parents, try imagining yourself in my shoes. Yeah, dude, I think I, I'm kind of agreeing with them. I think that, um, no, I, I, I think you probably put the mask on his head once he was dead. I think there's something wrong with you. The music's a little weird right now and I can't see. I'm gonna go forward and this looks different we're locked in or maybe it's a maze i don't know i really don't want to get jump scared again though this actually this one is actually doing a good job of scaring me uh, that means he's close that means he's close and we're gonna turn the corner here and this is a long maze isn't it why did it get so quiet i hate this. I actually hate this. Uh, oh, sh oh, hello and welcome to today's event. Please go in and take a seat. We are starting soon. This doesn't really seem like my thing. I'm going home. Oh, it does. <laughs> what the hell? It doesn't look like I give a shit if this is your thing. Go. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna choke us out. No, he don't. He don't care if it's our thing. I better do as he says. Oh my God, what is wrong with you? Oh great, we're in a cult. Uh, we're gonna be sacrificing some sort of Illuminati ritual now. I just know it, I just know it. All right, let's go to the front of the class. Does it want me to sit here? Yep, it wants me to sit here, right? Front and center, front and center. So uh, what, what brings you guys here? Oh, oh, we're gonna watch a movie, you guys. Is it V for Vendetta? Any moment, any, oh. Oh, this is the kind of movies you guys like to watch. Okay. Well, host, welcome every, everybody, silence. Oh, wow, so this is the ringleader, that's better. Welcome everybody to today's special event. On the menu today, we have some beautiful human meat. It's, it does look beautiful, I guess. Oh, I see we have a new guy here that doesn't understand what a dress code is. Well, you guys didn't get me a mask. And you guys know what we do to people that break our rules, right? N no, no. W what do you do exactly? But let's save that for a bit later. We shall let him enjoy his first event here with us for now. What have I gotten myself into? Now I have a question for all of you. Are you ready to eat human meat? Oh my god. No, I'm not ready. Oh, they said yes. They're ready. They're hungry. Um, this is a joke, right? Oh god. No, don't say that. You're gonna be the human meat next. Does this look like a joke to you? Oh sh oh my god, they're all staring at me. 
Oh my God. They're all staring at me. Okay. Okay. Just give me the human meat. I'll eat the human meat. I'll eat the human meat. I didn't mean to argue with you, father. How about you prove your worth in our cult by showing us. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Come on up. All right, daddy. We're coming up. We're coming up to eat some uh, meat. This is our new father. Father. Yes. Yes, father. Give me the limb. Yes. This is, god damn, that is a big limb. Was this dude in the NBA by chance? Okay, we're gonna eat this. Oh. No, don't. Dude, this is way better than the lasagna you're eating. Oh, we're back up. What kind of weird dream was that? They're usually peaceful, but that one was just creepy. It was, I, I honestly, I think you were getting to the good part right there. I think you were getting to the good part. You're about to have some barbecue short ribs. Now, oh shit, oh my. Okay. No, oh, he's gone. No, guys, he wasn't in there. He was not in there. That was just a figment of our imagination. We go back outside, maybe? I don't want to leave yet. Well, what do you want to do? There's nothing here to do, dude. Is there something on the paper? Oh, there's something on the paper now. Daddy, please stop with the mask. It is scaring me. <laughs> um, well, I have a feeling he's not going to stop. Oh, the sun said it. The sun said it. So he would. So we said this when we were a little kid. Not right now. Okay. Okay. Do we really have to spell this all out? All right. Back to some creepy business. Oh, Dad, stop screaming for f sake! You are soon turning seven years old and still getting scared by a mask. Pathetic. Dang, Dad was kind of a uh, savage. What the F? I don't remember this. Yeah, Dad. Dad was definitely a savage, if you ask me. Okay, so we got some static. Yes, yes. Yes, give me that. I want that. Can you bring that to me? Does this look familiar to you? Does this look familiar to you? No, but I want it to. No, why would I recognize a gun? All right, maybe we can go outside now. Oh, back outside we go. Yep. Um, what the hell? Do we have our light still? No, we have no light. Okay, so this is the cave, right? He's like, oh, I'm going to take you to a cave. On the cave trip, this is one of my favorite memories. Are you ready for this? Yes, I have always wanted to explore a cave. I'm so excited. Let's get going then. You lead the way. Oh God, okay, let's go dad, let's go. Now, listen, what the heck, how did we get down here? Was this under our house? It's weird, oh my God, why are you standing so close to me? And why do you look like that? The Bluetooth device is really this, this dude, the parents are way scarier than the dudes with the mask. Like, look at this, this is horrifying. I see why you did this to your parents now, I totally get it. I totally get it. I'm just kidding, guys. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're not going to get scared of this spooky cave. Not at all. I would never get scared of this place. Dad, did you hear that? Um, Dad, you still coming? What are you talking about? Yeah, sure, Dad. Sure. What the heck? There's somebody... <gasps> oh, okay. I thought that was like a crushed person, but no, it's, it's the cult. They're watching us. They're watching us. Do not enter restricted area. Dad, are you sure about this? But uh, restricted area? What the heck was that? You were flapping your wings like a bird. Let me see if I can get you to do that again. Nope. Okay. It was a one-time thing. It was a one-time thing, guys. All right. So, getting a little further into the cave, getting a little more narrow, and a little more claust claustrophobic. Dad, uh, Dad just disappeared, didn't he? Wait, Dad, where are you? You must have moved past me without me noticing. Mm-hmm. I, uh... I don't think he did, Busta. I don't think he did. But we're gonna keep going. I don't think we need him anyways. We're men. We are men. We must be swift. Maybe I can crawl through that hole. What hole? What are you talking about? Through this? <gasps> oh, my God. That guy is into BDSM. That's terrifying. Who the F was that creep? I need to find my dad and tell him about this. 
All right, let's go find your dad. Wait, I'm sorry, did you say this was one of your best memories earlier? This seems like one of... Like, if this happened, this would be one of my worst memories. There's a little light down here. I'm sure this is where we're going. It's actually, it kind of looks like that piece of paper that we were looking at in our room. Yep, let's see, he wrote something else. I don't know where you went, so I will be waiting at the entrance. Scream if something happens. Oh, God. Help, help, somebody help me, help, help. That was the son. Calm down, it's your dad. I was hoping you would be more of a man now that you are older. My God, this dude is such a jerk. <laughs> what the F do you mean more of a man? I'm, a, I'm like a six year old boy. Just started growing hair on my balls. I always thought if I would force fear upon you, you'd be a fearless man. Are you being serious? That has nothing to do, that has nothing but <laughs> given me PTSD. You have no idea how to raise a child. You ruined my life. I wish you were dead. Oh, wow. This got a little dark. How dare you speak to me like that, Dad says. Oh, damn. Got your head cracked in, boy. No, no, that can't be right. My dad was never abusive. I'm sure of it. Um, well, he is now. Daddy, please stop with the mask. It is scaring me. Why is mommy always asleep? Oh, what the heck? We we're teleported back here. At least it's daytime, though. I like that I can actually see for once. So mommy's always asleep. And uh, is that mommy? <laughs> okay, I know it's not a funny situation because I think she's an alcoholic. But what? Why is she sleeping like that? Kind of reminds me of like when Nacho Libre tenses up his booty cheeks. Yeah, that's what's that's the vibe it's giving me right now. Okay, let's let's talk to mom. Mommy, wake up. You promised to decorate the Christmas tree with me today. Damn. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's sad. That's unfortunate. I need to help mommy somehow. Um, she might need Narcan, if I'm being honest. I know. If I pick up all the bottles and pour them out, then mommy can't drink anymore. That's a good point. That's a good point. But there's a lot of bottles. 13 bottles. Okay, good. We don't have to actually pour them out. We just got to collect them, it seems. Um, where are we at? We're at six, seven, eight, nine, four more, and eleven. Is this open? Oh, it opens. Okay, maybe there might be more alcohol out there. I don't know. Which run here first? Um, Unity. Oh, they got a. <laughs> they have a Unity uh, Christmas hornet. That that doesn't uh, break the immersion at all, guys. In fact, if anything, it builds upon it. Because Unity is real scary lately, I will say that. Where are the last bottles? Oh, here's one. And I'm missing one more bottle, of course. There's always one bottle or one thing that's missing. Oh, is it up here? Yep, it's up here, of course. So we got all the bottles. Now what do we do? I think that's all. Let's go pour it out in the snow now. All right, going outside. Oh, a little snowman. So cute. I'm not allowed to go any further. Really? Okay, we'll pour it there and then, I guess. There it is. <laughs> Do we have to line it up like that? They are all empty now. Hope mommy gets better as soon as possible. Uh-oh. What the F are you up to? <laughs> oh, no, Dad. Now we're going to get hit again. Dang it. I poured out all of these bottles because they made mommy sick and tired. You, you poured out all of that? Do you know how expensive that is? Oh, no. He's gonna get the belt. No, I just wanted to help mommy. You even poured my alcohol out? Dang, dude, your child, it sucked. I did not know that it was yours. I just wanted to help mom. You were such an effing mistake. Damn. Maybe these are my real memories, and the good memories I used to see was it was just my imagination. Uh, well, could be, could be. Um, so we already read that. Nothing's changed there. The TV static's going on. So, I'm not sure what that's about. Let's see if we can leave. Nope, I don't want to leave yet. He doesn't want to leave, guys. Oh, there's our, uh, friend. What do you think about your parents now? Still think they are amazing? No, they're pretty, they're pretty crap. Who are you? And he's gone. Oh, no, now he's back. Is that us? Yep. I have a feeling we are the ones who killed them. And 
We're the ones that started the cult, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Turn on that lighter. Okay, we're in an attic, I think. I don't know. I, it's very difficult to see down here. The heck? Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Just, yeah, laugh. It doesn't do nothing to me. Except the reality. You can't keep living in denial. Oh my god, there's something moving. Okay. I'm gonna keep living in in denial. God, I, I have to keep looking behind me, even though I don't wanna... Okay, there's that big BDSM bastard. My god, stop. Stop that. No. Really gonna make me go through this maze again. While he whispers in the ear, in my ear, your parents were horrible towards you, but you also did something horrible towards them. Well, maybe they deserved it. You ever think about that? You ever think about that? All right, you cut the music, which means something bad's gonna happen to me. Okay, just just remember, take it easy on me. I'm a kid. I'm a I'm, I'm a seven year old kid. I think I don't know what my age is in these dreams. Just take it easy on me. We found a paper, you guys. All right. So update on the murder of uh, a dad and mother. The police had been struggling with finding evidence until now. They found a firearm near the crime scene buried in dirt. They were also OK. You can stop moving in the background now. There were also fingerprints on it, but it didn't match anyone in their system. The police are now investigating the son and are trying to get his fingerprints, but he has since disappeared and they can't get in contact with him. He, this makes him the prime suspect as of now. You can see a picture of the firearm and the son down below. If you see him anywhere, please contact the police about it. Okay, still dead silent. We're going to keep going, I think. The <gasps> oh my god. Okay. That was, I think that was the mom. I, the main suspect, I could feel all of the something. I really did kill them, didn't I? And they abused me both physically and mentally constantly. Oh, there we are, I think. Yep, that's a, some camera footage of us just standing in the woods. We definitely don't seem mentally stable. And we have the gun. <laughs> we have the gun too. Yep, okay, yeah. Someone caught us on camera. Oh, dang. Take that, mom and dad. That's for freaking not buying me the new Lego set when I was five. Wow, I can't believe I just blocked all of this out for so long and acted like nothing happened. Uh, I, I mean... Well, let's put an end to this nightmare and go admit to the police what I've done. Yeah, let's go do that. And then hopefully I can stop getting scared. Here we go, we're gonna go to the police. An end to the family nightmare. It had almost been a whole month without the police finding the culprit behind the murders, but that's when someone reported that they saw the prime suspect, the son, just walking down the street. Surprisingly, he was headed towards the police station. The police interrogated him when he arrived and he confessed to the murders, but also explained his side and what drove him crazy enough to commit these murders. It turns out that he had been abused both mentally and physically by his parents since he was five years old. So then one night with his drunk abusive parents, he had finally had enough and went to grab his dad's gun to shoot them both. The dad got shot three times and the mom got shot one time. The son ended up getting a sentence to prison, uh, sentenced to 20 years in prison and that puts an end to this story. So we were the ones that did it. We done did it. Okay, you guys, so that was the end of the game. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. It was a really quick one, but I feel like the scares are pretty good, for especially for a low budget game. I, this was like a dollar 20 cents or something like that on Steam. So if you want to check it out, The Never Ending Nightmare, it's available on Steam. And I think there's actually a Thanksgiving sale right now. So it might be even cheaper if you want to grab it. If this was your first time here, smash that subscribe button, you guys, and I will see you in the next one.